Alfred, my man, your boy JY is here coming to you with another safe, solid little duplex, man. These are the kind of low-cost, simple investments, great for long-term cash flow that I think you should be focusing on. I think these are the types of investments. They don't appear to be super-duper sexy, uh, but this is what's really going to build you a healthy portfolio, dude. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, y'all. Welcome to the show. Look at this one. Look at this one. I like this one, all right? 511 East Broad Street, Elyria, Ohio, 44035. Just hit the market, okay? Price is 125K. I like this property for you. I do. But I do not like it at 125K, okay? Now, normally I would be fine with you paying 125K for a duplex in Elyria. I love Elyria. Ah, I can't even say it. I love it so much. I love Elyria. It's great. I think it's like a. Very high quality C grade neighborhood. It's like 30 minutes west of Cleveland, and it's in Lorain County, uh, which is even nicer in my opinion because I think it's more landlord friendly than Cleveland. Uh, and they're also getting two naval bases out that way. Okay, two naval bases is going to add a ton of jobs. So I'll, I'm super high. Anytime you get the opportunity to take something down in Elyria or Lorain. Totally got to do it. Plus, you don't even have to deal with, like, the Cleveland-led cert laws, which if you – I'm pretty sure you know about them. But if you don't know about them, uh, in the notes below, I got a Cleveland video on the new lead cert laws. Don't have to deal with those in Lorraine and O'Leary, right? So I dig uh, all those properties out here. Uh, you know, you got two inherited tenants just chilling up in here, right? They're paying below market rent, but it wouldn't be too hard to get their rent up, right? So normally I'd be totally cool uh, with – the 125 price point. I'd be like, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Let's do it. But uh, here, we don't have a total of four bedrooms. No, we actually have a 1-1 one, one and a 2-1, right? So your market rent's going to be slightly lower, right? 650 and 850, right? If this is a 2-1, two, 2-1, one, two, one, I'd say, fuck yeah, let's do the deal. But, uh, you know, I don't think you should be paying 125 k uh, for a 1-1, one, one, right? Uh, that makes it a little bit less desirable, right? So you're always going to have a little bit lower rents, right? Um so I think 100 if we could pick this up at 100 for you, I think that's a perfect price, right? So what you'd be looking at long-term, 15 hundo comes in, spending almost 900 leaving you with about 640 bucks in free cash flow. Of course, you shouldn't just drop 100 Gs, man. Let's finance the asset. Let's save some money. You only put down 25 k into the investment. We get a lender to kick in the other 75 k Why buy one $100,000 duplex when you can buy four with the same amount of money, right? Economies of scale. Scale your business. I leverage, man. Those are the names of the game, right? So uh, with those terms, right, you'd be looking at long term, in my opinion, probably about a 13% return on your money, right? Free cash flow after them tenants pay off that mortgage for you would be about 261 or a little over three grand a year, man. Nice solid investment. Is it the sexiest investment in the entire world? No, but if you try to find the sexiest investments in the entire world, uh, that's how you swing big and sometimes make misses, right? The name of the game is just stacking solid little deals like this one on top of one another and picking them up for the right price. And in my opinion, uh, 125 not the right price. I think 100 is the right price. Maybe if the tenants were paying the market rent I just gave you already, you could pay a little more. But, I mean, dude, one's only paying five and a quarter. The other's only paying 545, right? So five and a quarter, 545. Uh, we're not going to be able to get them up to market like on the first uh, lease renewal because if you do that, you might create an artificial turnover. So I'd probably, you know, split the difference between two or three uh, lease renewals, right? So you can keep those long-term tenants in there, right? Because both those units are kind of dated. So you don't want to come out of pocket uh, anytime soon and have to redo the units. If you have to do that, it's not the end of the world. You get a market rate tenant right after that. But if we could uh, stretch out our tenancy uh, from people already living there, all the better for your bottom line. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.